Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I want to talk about all the different toys that you will be able to craft with the new professions in Dragonflight. And I want to explain how you will be able to make some gold with all these new toys. As you can imagine, toys are always great items to have up on the auction house simply because these are items that everyone can buy. And as there are new achievements for the different collections, including the toy collection, people will be interested in buying all these new toys and adding new items to their collections. So trust me, you will be able to make quite a lot of gold, especially early in the expansion, just by crafting and selling all these different toys. Let's start with the first profession. The first profession is gonna be engineering. With engineering, we're gonna get five new toys. The wormhole generator, the Jiggle Goggles, the Environmental Emulator, the Element Infused Rocket Helmet, and the Centralized Precipitation Emitter. In order to craft all these different toys, you want to choose the Specialization Mechanical Mine. Here you will be able to craft the Worm Old Generator, and then when you choose Novelties, you will be able to craft all these other toys that I just mentioned. So almost all these different toys are very interesting because you will be able to sell them to anyone, even people who don't have engineering as a profession. There is only the element infused rocket helmet and the wormhole generator that will have these requirements. So you will be able really to sell them to everyone and make a lot of gold with all these different toys. So when it comes to all the different like effects of these different toys, let's learn them and let's discover them. So the first one that we have, of course, is the wormhole generator. So the wormhole generator is very simple. You just use it and then like that, you will be able to basically have a portal up and you can then use it and arrive in random location in the Dragon House. When you reach a certain level in the sub specialization, you will be able to actually choose the different locations where you travel to. But at the beginning, it will be random. So after that, we have the Jiggle Goggles. Basically, when you use them, you will be able to perceive the world as if everyone were gnolls. So as you can see, everyone, even the guards, will be turned into gnolls, which I think is pretty cool. And especially they are using the new models for the gnolls. So that's a pretty cool toy to have. And as you can see, it will last for 15 minutes. After that, we have the Environmental Emulator. When you use this one, it will, it will place down an Environmental Emulator for up to two hours that allows you to view the world from a different perspective. And this is something that all the different people who are in your group will be able to also uh, see. So this is something that is pretty cool. And yeah, I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in using it. As you can see, you can, for instance, see the world with like all these different variations with like different skies and so it really allows you to just see the world in a completely different way so i'm sure a lot of people will be interested in actually using this toy and again this is something that you will be able to use with other people from your group so i think that's a pretty nice addition to the toy collection after that we're gonna have the centralized precipitation emitter so this one when you place it you will be able basically for two hours to experience fury, the fury of nature. So again, this is something that you will be able to use with all the different members of your group. And so this is another nice toy that you will be able to use in order to just see different things. Finally, we have the element infused rocket helmet. So this one basically, apparently when you use it, you will be able to propel yourself and so that's just like a toy that can basically kill you very easily. So these are a 24 hour cooldown for some reason. And yeah, this is just a toy that people will probably just add to their collection. After that, we have three more toys this time with the level working profession. We have the artisan sign, the gnoll tent and the tusker bean bag. And as you can see, all these different toys can be sold to anyone on the auction house. So usually you can make a lot of gold with all these different level working toys. When it comes to the different animations and everything, basically the sign will just make a sign appear and these are different like uh, inscription on it. So this is something that you can do just to have a little bit of fun. So after that, we have the null tent, but unfortunately this one doesn't work yet. So I'm pretty sure it's literally just summoning a tent and then you will be able to either go inside or just stay next to it. And finally, we have the Tusker bean bag. So this is just another bag that you can then sit on. And yeah, 
that's a very simple toy. So after that, we have two more toys that this time you will be able to craft with the jewel crafting profession. These are the convergent prism and the jewel offering. So when you use the jeweled offering, it will basically make this little thing appear and then you will be able to receive a prize jewel. And when you use it, as you can see, you get the buff basically enamored and admiring a precious gemstone gracefully given to you. And so you just are here looking at the gemstone. And then for the convergent prism, so this one, when you use it, Normally, you will have the opportunity to do all these different things. And so this is another really cool toy that you can use in order to do different type of things. After that, we have five more toys this time with the tailoring profession. We have the Duck Stuffed Duck Lobby, the Forlorn Funeral Pal, the Dragon Scale Expeditions Expedition Tent, and then two Cushion. So all these different toys, again, can be sold to anyone. And I'm sure you will make a lot of gold just by crafting them. So as you can imagine, the two cushions are simple little cushions that you can make spawn and then you can sit on it. For the tent, it's very similar to the Gnoll one, unfortunately it doesn't work yet, so we will have to see what it looks like. Then for the duck, it's basically just a little duck that normally you're supposed to have around you, and uh, I'm not seeing it right now, but normally there is a ducky that is supposed to be around you, I guess. And after that, you will also be able to have the Forlorn Funeral Pal. So this one, it just covered the recently deceased uh, person in a morning cloth. So unfortunately, I don't have anyone who is dead around me. But as you can imagine, when you click on someone who is dead from your group or anyone else, you will be able to put some cloth around the person. And finally, there is one more toy, this time with enchanting, and this is the Cadgar Disenchanting Road. In order to craft this one, you will have to choose the specialization Roads, Runes, and Bruises, and to choose the Illusory Goods sub-specialization. So this is how you will be able to then craft this toy. So when you use this toy, normally it's supposed to do, like, disenchant the person, but it's only working on, I guess, enemy, uh, like the opposite faction. So unfortunately right now, I cannot really try it. So if I'm not forgetting any new toys, you will be able to craft in total 17 new toys with all the different professions. So I think that's a really good opportunity to make quite a lot of gold with all these new toys. And most of them are pretty easy to craft. So I would definitely recommend you to try and have some of them up on the auction house. And like that, I'm sure you will make some gold pretty easily. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions about all these different toys, please let me know in the comments. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great week. Bye.